Watering your plants is often a necessity, as well as adding fertilizer. So fertilizer applicators are going to be gone over in this Tobacco University video to improve your efficiency with cannabis production. All right, let's go over fertilizer applicators for efficient cannabis production. So what are some of the options? Well, there's many options. These are gonna be a few that'll be covered. Gonna provide you with the pros and cons of each, as well as when you select one, hopefully search this channel and you'll be able to find a more detailed video on that particular type. All of these though are intended to be able to deliver nutrients to plants via irrigation water. And this is an efficient method since plants will need to be irrigated anyway. Irrigation with fertilizer can help prevent deficiencies. We see venturis, injectors, piston pumps, pressurized tank, as well as a diluted irrigation tank as all viable options. So first off, looking at the Venturi injector. Well, the advantages is low cost. It is water powered, simple to use, uh, calibrates while it's operating, and there's basically no moving parts. Those are great advantages to the Venturi injector. However, some of the disadvantages are that pressure drop is created in the system. So if you already have a low pressure system, this may not be the best option. And the calibration depends on the chemical level in the tank and can fluctuate as your tank level changes. Then it gets to piston pumps. Now piston pumps are very precise. Uh, they have linear calibration. Uh, they can tolerate very high pressures. And the calibration is independent of the pressure that they're being exposed to. So they offer a great level of consistency. These are probably the most popular used in larger scale as well as smaller scale operations. The disadvantages is that they do tend to cost more compared to everything else mentioned here. They may need to stop to adjust for calibration and the internal parts do wear out over time and may need replacing. Uh, however, when they are operational, their high precision and ability to really dial in a nutrient feeding program is why they are so popular. Then we get into pressurized tank mixing, and this is kind of the middle cost range. Uh, they're fairly easy to operate. The total chemical volume is accurately controlled, so those are all great benefits. However, the disadvantage is the pressure differential is required, and there's variable chemical concentration provided to the plants. They also cannot be calibrated for consistent injection rate, so you're kind of uh, having a little bit of variability there, which might cause sometimes plants to get over-fertilized and some plants to potentially become under-fertilized. And then the last one, the most simple, is looking at a, a diluted irrigation tank. So we're looking at a diluted irrigation tank. There's really no need for equipment beyond a water pump and a tank. Uh, so that's why this is, can be used. It provides growers uh, to know when fertilizer is added and in what concentration. Because if you're adding X amount of fertilizer to the tank and you're irrigating with that tank water, then you know exactly what the plants are getting. It does require a large tank equal to the size of the irrigation volume, and sometimes, as we see in the picture here, multiple irrigation tanks. It also does not allow for concentrated mixes to be used. You have to go through dilute and make sure it's evenly distributed there before you go on and irrigate. So these are some options here when you're looking at fertilizer uh, and, and adding it to the plants. If you find one that you really like, search this channel and hopefully you'll find a more detailed video to get you dialed in even further.